three, two, one, go! <coughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the second Mario Kart We sort of power out of- Second thought it was recorded for 20 minutes, 20 seconds, fail. Anyway, this is- This is part two and I'm doing all the retro cups and yes, I'm playing as Mario again because he's my main in Mario Kart. Well, so yeah, basically I'm making this the next day after um the other one, but this time I'm recording in the morning at 11 o'clock in the morning. Get back here, Yoshi! No! Yes! Haha! <laughs> Wait, how'd Peach get it? I thought I hit Yoshi! Oh, what about that? I hope I actually have stuff to say. Bye bye Koopa Troopa. I'm just a weird thing that I randomly decided to say. I'm not good at I can't do Koopa Troopa's voice because how do they even get Koopa Troopa's voice? It's just like a sound effect, like oh my god. No 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 sorry, I was looking at the computer screen to check if it was recording. That's the thing, every time I'm recording a video I always check to make sure it's recording even though I already know it is. You know that sausages are awesome! Poor little sauce on doesn't mean it's hot because it's actually cold. Oh, come on. I'm on the final third lap already. I used to call bananas blanas and then I used to call them. Then I started calling them bananas. Oh, yeah, I just remembered where the banana thing came from. Okay, so in the Amazing World of Gumball, the Japanese version, the episode The Words, where Darwin's like singing about like insulting everyone, in the Japanese version he says, Banana Joe, in the song. Like, Banana really? No, I'm gonna lose! Wow! I did badly in the first race of the other one too, and the other one's first race is Luigi Circuit, like, wow, just wow. Are you sure this is the first course of the Shell Cup? Oh yeah it is, never mind, I got mixed up. DS Yoshi Falls! Say, so, yeah, um... Sorry, I don't really have a lot to say right now, I should've... Cause I kind of said a lot of stuff in my other video. Okay, so, um... Now, these two videos will probably be uploaded sometime... In, if, the, if not today, then, then like tomorrow or something. By the way, if um, I'm recording this on Sunday the... Well, I can't check the date right now. Um... I think it's like the 6th of August or something. Speaking of 6th, I'm in 6th. Okay, no, I'm not. If only that was the last lap, but whatever. Wow, wait, I'm all up to the final lap. Wow! But yeah, anyway, today's Sunday. And yes, I recorded the other video yesterday, so yeah. On Saturday. Oh, what? So I was trying to harmonize, but by the way, yeah, um, I'm not as sick as I was yesterday. I hope not. Anyway, oh no, this is like the course I'm the worst at. Watch me like come first. I'm probably not going to. <laughs> no, don't do that. Okay, no. Little fat lady just waddling down the street. Little fat lady just waddling down the street. So I had that stuck in my head right before I started recording. But yeah, um, it's a song that I made up, by the way. Did I tell about this song, the other one? There's also a, ver a version called Tall Thin Lady. So, so, wait, and what happens is, 
after the little fat lady bit is finished, then sh she gets stepped on by tall thin lady. And then tall th and then the tall thin lady song starts. So it's like tall thin lady just striding down the street. Tall thin lady oh my tall thin lady just striding down the street. The da, da, da oh, I thought that was gonna be lap three, but then it's not. Come on, don't fail me now, don't fail me now. I wanna smile for a while now, don't fail me now, don't fail me now. I wanna come first right now, don't fail me now, don't fail me now, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now, don't fail me now, don't fail me now. Wow, I actually did decently at the race for once, well. Six minutes and now on to Oh yeah, I like this race. It's my favorite of the easy races. So yeah, um me and my mom used to play this a lot. Oh yeah, that reminds me. A long time ago, when I was like 12 or something, or 13 or whatever, um, when I found out about Mario Day, which by the way is March 10th, um, I decided that as a celebration I was going to record me, me and some others playing this game. Except I didn't have a capture card back then. We didn't also, we also didn't put it on YouTube because this is before we did YouTube and stuff. But um, we just used a video camera. So yeah, and this and and I remember we did other ones on other days as well, but I used I held the camera instead of playing, and 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 one of the races they did was this race. So yeah. A what? I can't tell if this is going slower or faster than the other one. Like the like in, in regard to like how many minutes it's been in ratio to how many races I've done. Does that even make sense in ratio? I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but whatever. Well, basically what I'm trying to say is like, how many minutes it takes me to do each race. I estimated that that the, reco the other recording would go for like 40 minutes and it went for 50. So this could probably go for the same amount of length, except this one doesn't have the long rainbow road in it, but it does have N64 Bowser's Castle. By the way, that random burst of speed, I used to think it was actually just... I used to think it just it just randomly happened, but then somebody told me one day that it actually happens when you follow someone for a bit. Like you're right behind someone and then... Ah! But yeah, you see, you see, it, this happened one day on the last day of school each term. Well, the, we, we always like bring in Wii games, or some of us. Well, basically, um, the teacher has a Nintendo Wii in our classroom. She brought a Nintendo Wii, and because it was originally to play Wii Sports in, in sport lessons, but, um, we oh, I thought I was going to come second last minute. Oh, no. Basically, what, what happened, though, is, um, yeah, you see, sorry, I have this problem with talking. Anyway, basically, the teacher, um, yeah, and so on the last day of school, we play games like like um, Mario Kart and stuff. On the last day of term, on the last day of term two, I think. Yeah, term two. Um, we. Oh, what? That always happens to me in this race. Jeez. Anyway, um, <coughs> basically, what happens is um, we. On the last day of, of term, we we played Mar I played Mario Kart by myself because I was trying to unlock all the cups by winning the Grand Prix. But um, and then somebody else was like came to to watch for a bit, but then they stopped. And then, but while they were watching, they they told he told me that like about the burst of speed and stuff. So, which I never knew. 
never knew all the things you'd say. They okay, no, they were never true, never true. Sorry. I uh, like there's this song called "This Girl Is On Fire" and it's sung by. Uh, sorry, I got mixed up. I mean, it's it, it reminds. Me, I know how it's sung by, and it reminds me of got mixed up, but it reminds me of this person at my school. Oh, not my school now, but my primary school, which is elementary school. When I was 10 years old, this girl who who used to be like annoying and mean to me and chase me and growl at me, and I'm not gonna say her name, but but I always made up this this these comics about her having fire powers and being evil, and and that's and the song this girl is on fire reminded me of her so yeah, because of the fire powers and stuff so yeah. Also, because there's a line that says she's a lonely girl or something, and and I remember one of my friends told me that she, all her friends had ditched her, and, and except for one of them. <laughs> I like how I'm just talking about stuff from my past again. I always do this. Like in the last recording, I was talking about like how I made up a different version of the Teletubbies, and I made like Wodo and Stag Stagag. I don't think I mentioned Stagag. Basically, Stagag was a hot dog seller at the theater. I believe Hoag, the evil tubby, Teletubby, was also a hot dog seller. But the weird thing is, he wasn't evil when he was selling hot dogs. Uh -huh. But then I made up that he, that when he gave the hot dog to Poe, he secretly put a stick of dynamite instead of a sausage. But yeah, Hoag sell, sold, sold hot dogs like throughout the town. Uh, like just in the street, and Stag Egg sold them in the movie theater. So yeah. And Stag Egg had a voice like this. So, wow, I'm surprised it didn't hurt my throat, but okay. Mario win. What is it with these Nintendo characters and their broken, their broken English or whatever? Broken voc not vocabulary. I don't know. They're broken. <laughs> Sentences, yeah, that's what I meant. Except in in Super Mario Sunshine, they actually did talk, but Mario didn't for some reason. It's like that case of like everyone talks, but the main hero, like like in um what's it called um in RPGs that tend to happen as well. Or at least the ones I've played, which are Pokemon and Drawn to Life. I know Pokemon counts as an RPG, but but it's it's one of those games where you like walk around and like talk to people and, and stuff and get items. So I guess I'm. Oh, no. Please get an item, thank you. Oh yeah, Mario time! Don't you hate it when your gold mushroom runs out right when you're like on something that is hard to drive on, like grass or or, or like something? Oh my screen just... Sorry, my screensaver just went on. I had to pause the computer. Pause the computer, yeah. Pause the video, not the video. Pause the, the game to do that. Because, um... Well, the thing is, I basically uh, couldn't do both at the same time, so... But yeah, some of the um, retro courses are a bit shorter. Wait, I'm in first when that happened. Oh, what? Oh. Something I could avoid that, but what? Yeah, I taught my cousin how to avoid it, so yeah. In my day, we didn't have Mario Kart Wii. We had Mario Kart 64. This person at my school who keeps saying that Mario Kart 64 was the first well, that Mario Kart 64 was the first one, and I'm like, no, it was Super Mario Kart. And they're like, oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, man, if it wasn't for that loss in the first one, I would have gotten, like, what's it, like, 75 points. Wait, was that the... That wasn't the fifth race, that was the sixth. Yeah, this is the seventh race. I should really pay attention if it says on the screen, I'm said square. Well, the screen is kind of a square. Uh, but I think I did, because I saw the word Delfino Square, so it was probably that one. Now, there's a massive short, well not massive, but it's, it's a big shortcut you can do 
it but it only works if you have triple dash mushrooms or a gold dash mushroom which which I usually don't get most of the time but well, if I don't get it I'll just tell you what it is so what wow oh my god like oh my god like my BFF was just like texting some other person and I thought they were my best friend but no and they stole my lip gloss oh my god okay I'll go Oh, that reminds me, there was this, this story called Dork Diaries, and, and there was this girl named Nikki, and, and there was a mean girl named Mackenzie, and she was like to Nikki, oh, your ugly green shirt is clashing with my new lip gloss flavor, <laughs> and then Nikki's like, how can a color clash with a flavor? They're like two totally different things. So yeah, I was like, that doesn't even make sense. I'm playing this by holding the Wii wheel in one hand. Pretty obvious which hand, though. No, I I'm, I'm twisting my left hand around to hold the right side. No, I'm not. Come on, give me triple mushroom. No! Oh. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. I drove a machete to the levee, but the levee was dry. The good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye, saying this will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Did you write the book of love? Or do you have faith in God above it? So, so, do you believe in rock and roll? Can music save your mortal soul? And you had to teach me. Oh, now I get triple mushrooms. How to dance real slow. Sorry, I don't know why I started singing that. Oh, what? Again, I was hoping it would be lap three. This is like at the end of lap two, I'm always like at first. Then in lap three, bad stuff happens. Come on, gimme, gimme. If it doesn't give me, I'll just tell you. Okay, so basically, I'll just tell you what it does. If you drive on, almost pointed, but then you realize that you won't be able to see it. If you drive to the left in that part, and then and then you can dash across, over top of the water, or not on the water, like in the air, through the air, above the water, then you can land on that bridge thingy with the item that I just got. But yeah, I have done it sometimes, so. Wee! Wee! Nintendo Wii! Oh, God, no. Yeah, I came first. What you gonna do about it? You all did worse, and there's no doubt about it. Sorry, I already used the rhyme in the other one, didn't I? But yeah, I remember I, used, I made... I made that up in a, a long time ago, but forgot about it till just like yesterday when I made the other videos. Oh yeah, Waluigi Stadium. This is and that and this is the halfway mark after this race is the halfway mark. Mark is so cute. Okay, no, sorry, that was an imitation of Zoe Hansen, which is the English version of of Ichigo Momomiya from Tokyo Mew Mew. But Zoe Hansen's in Mew Mew Power, and I do this crazy voice like, "Hi, I'm Zoe Hansen, and I'm one of the Mew Mews." Sorry, it's not usually that croaky. I just can't get my voice to go cr that crazy right now. That's why I made up this other version of Zoe Hansen, that, which has the opposite personality. She's smart and calm, like kind of like Masaya. And and her name is Zoe Hudson, which was based on, and she has a calmer voice like, hello, I'm Zoe Hudson. But yeah, the reason I called is also, and Zoe is spelt without a Y instead of with a Y in, for Zoe Hudson. And the reason I called her Hudson is because I was on Google Images. I was on Google Images, and it basically just said like, you know how it says the writing, writing it. Oh, wow. Okay. It basically just says the writing, the writing like about what the website it's from, the pictures from, and on one of them, I saw that it said Zoe Hudson instead of Zoe Hansen. I'm like, wow, fail. So, but yeah, Hudson is also like Hudson Soft. Which sadly was bought by Konami, but I think was Konami bought by Nintendo because that's what I heard. No! Don't do that! Don't! Don't throw a blue shell at me! Don't throw a green shell at me! You got hit by a green shell! You have disgraced me! Da -da -da -dun -dun -da -da -da. 
Okay, now I'm glad it's not the second lap. I mean, the third lap. Well, it is now, but it wasn't before. <coughs> well, it's a oh, second's not that bad. If it was last, it would be worse. Haha. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but okay. I don't know any commentary and sometimes I like to sing along with the music, yay. Did I mention that? I'm really cool, yeah. When I was a little kid, like nine years old, I always, I was very conceited. I always said that I was, I was voted Australia's coolest kid and America's, America's? America's cool kid. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. And I always used to draw comics about me being a spy, and and spying on that girl, that enemy girl with the, that I that I told you about before that I said had fire powers. Yep, it's probably gonna go for like 50 or something minutes. Oh yes, I love deserts. I'm not as much as I did in year seven in seventh grade, but I still love them. Oh yeah, somebody made a cool video of, of the, the music from this game, oh, this game, from this, this stage, what well, it is in this game, but... And also in Mario Kart DS as well, which is where this course mode is originally from. They, they made a video of, of some pokies dancing to this song. Which I used to like watching a lot too. Peach! This spark, this spark's between us, Peach! <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. That's totally what what you do though when you. No, I was hoping I could avoid that. I gotta. What? Oh, that was close. The second I thought I had it. Oh, that means if my baby form gets shrunk, then I get shrunk as well. Oh no, it doesn't. Well, I mean, obviously it grows back way before it grows up, but you know. Hey, you know, I don't know how the baby characters can exist at the same time as the adults, but my theory is that maybe the babies somehow got their hands on a time machine. I don't know how they would. But this isn't a world where, like, power-ups can come out of blocks and, 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 like, other crazy stuff that makes no sense. So it, a baby having a time machine isn't that, or isn't that unord out of the ordinary for, for compared to some other stuff. But, mate, I don't know. I think some people think that Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are their children, but I don't know. They wouldn't call their kids Baby and then their name. That's why, I, well, even the Baby Mario, why does he say, call himself Baby Mario? Babies don't call themselves Baby, then their name. Wow, I was hit by a thundercloud, a blooper, and a, and a blue shell, and then a lightning! Even though I was already small, but it still stunned me. Not stunned me, like, yeah, stopped me in my tracks. But yeah, maybe he he just called himself that to get not be confused with Mario. I don't know. What? Peach got a wow. Got away. Oh, something I get like a mega mushroom or something. Come on, come on, something good. Oh, that, that's not that good. Oh, unless it blows up six people. Zoe Hansen. Oh what? What? Night. Like at the end of the other video. I came ninth, and then I, um, at the end of the other video, I came ninth in Rainbow Road. And I was like, nine, 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 nine. But yeah, nine means no, but it also means nine. What? Two different pronounce, two different spellings of nine in German is N-E-U-N, but no in German is N-E-I-N. So it's like I was saying I came ninth, but at the same time I was saying no, I came, I didn't do well or something. So, yeah. so it actually works out. Whoa! That didn't last too long, but it was kind of, it was quite fast. So yeah. Doodle, 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 doodle. I love the course. I like the course's music though. Seems like a lot of people make Wario and Waluigi bullies. Like when I mean, sorry, when in, when in their like comics about Mario as a kid, they always make Wario and Waluigi bullies. I'm gonna say babies or baddies. I don't know what I said. 
But I used to do that too. Actually, I didn't really do much of them at first, but I always thought. Well, it said Mario and Mario were friends when they were kids, so I may think that maybe they were friends and then Wario just turned bad later on. Or maybe Wario... Maybe Wario was... was just... jealous of Mario and... and that... and say so yeah, I'm... A but I made up in the Mario kids... it went in my Mario kids canon thingy that when Mario when they were kids they Mario and all that tried to help Wario and Waluigi feel better about themselves but it unfortunately it obviously didn't work since they're bad as adults but still can't still at least they tried. What? What up what happened there? I'm trying to think of a song involving the words what just happened but I don't know. Oh, there is one, but it's got a bad word in it, even though the chipmunks... It's called Walking on the Sun. I don't know why the chipmunks did a cover of Walking on the Sun. I mean, they, they, did, they even didn't even censor the H word, like, oh my god. They just... But they censored the word crack. Actually, I think that's a drug, but... I didn't know... I used to not know it was a drug, so I was like, why'd they censor the word crack, but not the H word? And then I was like, alright. Yeah, like this this teacher, not teacher, sorry, it was a police officer, came to our school and had the most depressing assembly ever, talking about people taking drugs and, 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 well, I'm not going to elaborate since this is a, supposed to be a, not a, supposed to be as kid-friendly as possible, but. But the thing is that, oh, what? Long story short, they talked about stuff that was kind of depressing. Come on! Hiya! Oh yeah, Mario time! Mario win! You know that sausages are awesome! Poor little sauce son! Doesn't mean it's hot, cause it's actually cold! DK Jungle Parkway. Yeah, this is the other one with the sky. The, yeah, the sky is orange and so is the water. The sky is orange and so is the water. I wonder, I always wonder like if you could land on that boat, but I don't think you can. If you get shrunk by lightning while you're on the the ramp thingy and you fall into the boat probably not probably it just like makes you fall and then lack of two saves you so yeah oh yes i avoided it no i oh, i missed the items i missed the items Why'd you hit me with a red shell? It's not very nice of you to do that. To do that. Okay. By the way, the Dawn do that, which I mentioned in the other video, my character who says that, who talks in that voice, she actually is ten years old. So yeah. Oh, something I can use my mushroom and then quickly get on the ramp and then avoid. Oh my. Right next to Toad. Wow. Oh, what? I didn't get an item. Oh, what? Doesn't Rigby from regular show say, oh, what? Oh, no. That's why I started saying it. Because Rigby is one of my favorite characters in regular shows, yeah. Don't you hate it? Okay, for all you artists out there who have a very different art style to like the original, like if you like to draw characters from a series but they draw them very differently, 
and then, to how they actually look in the actual series. And then some annoying person comes up to you and says, Oh, that doesn't look like it! Blah! It's like, that's really annoying. Because somebody told me that about my Rigby drawings once, even though my Rigby drawings weren't very good back then, but... I don't care. I mean, I liked... I like drawing, um... I used to like drawing Rigby a lot when I was, like, in 8th grade and 9th grade and stuff. And then I drew a picture of the 80s version, 1980s versions of the chipmunks. And somebody who pro and the same person who probably had not seen the 80s version, only seen the CGI movies, said they didn't look like them. So yeah. Why am I getting deja vu all of a sudden? Okay, no, I'm not. One time I had this really weird dream where I walked, where I was going into my classroom to get my my 3DS, and then for some reason, for some reason I um. When the teacher unlocked the door and and I walked in, but when I walked in, all all you could see was all I could see was a bright white light. Then my dream ended, and I told some people on a Sonic forum about it because there's this, this Sonic forum I go to that that sometimes we talk about stuff that has nothing to do with Sonic though. And basically, um, what happened is um, what happened is um. I told them about the dream, and somebody was like, Oh, that means the afterlife. I'm like, what? I was in the afterlife or something. Anyway, the, the, in this course, it, there's a bit that reminds me of, and my cousins of Crackers. And basically, um, I'll tell you when, and, I'll, and then I'll t when I get up to it, I'll tell you why. So yeah, it's right here. These, oh, not yet, sorry. Yeah, these bumps... The color and the fact that there's bumps there reminds me of Sakata Crackers. Sakata! 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 Ruff, ruff! I heard that the Chain Chomp was inspired by when he was a kid and, and, it, and the dog like had a chain that stopped him from attacking. So. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I assume the chain chomps like the dogs of the Mario series. But yeah, I'm um, like this some like this comic that somebody drew of Super Mario Brothers 3. In in one bit of the comic there was a bit where uh, they were on an airship and there was a chain chomp and a dry bones there. So they got one of the dry bones bones and threw it at the chip and threw it and the chain chomp went chasing it, so yeah. What if there, w there was a Mario Party game where you could play as chain chomp? That would be weird. Very weird since chain chomp doesn't have any hands or legs or feet or, or arms. It kind of looks like a Pac-Man. I made up this character named... I made up this, um... Basically in, um... What's it called? Um... Yeah, I, when I was like, uh, when I was like 12 or something, or 11, I don't know, I made up this, this, um, <coughs> I made up this character, this series called Pack Chat, which had four siblings, um, who, who looked a bit like Pac-Man. Pack Chat was, was yellow, and, and, oh, by the way, they, they were part of a species I made up called a chat, which means, which looks like Pac-Man, but they could talk. But they talk a lot instead of eat a lot. <coughs> and his his two brothers are Pack Yak and who was orange, and Chat Chomp, who was black and looked like a chain chomp because he also had teeth like a chain chomp. And his little sister who was a toddler named Silent Chat who's pink, so yeah. And um for some reason Chat Chomp had a deep voice. I don't know why. Even though he was twelve, and for some reason I th used to think the twelve year olds had deep voices because when I, this is when I was younger than 12. When I was like 10, I thought 12 was like such an old age. Well, not, not like elderly, but I just thought it was like such a big kid age. But now, now 12 year olds seem like really small to me. What was I saying? Yeah, and um, 
I made a comic about them called Shut Up, and it was about, like, their little sister getting them in trouble, because the thing with Silent Chat is, she acts innocent around their mum chat at- well, I was going to go with the pipe. She acts innocent around their mum, around their mum, whose name is Chatet, but, um, but, um, but she actually, like, always gets her brothers into trouble. So, yeah. No! Don't do that! Okay, I'm done. Now there's the final lap, so oh. Wait, if I go back first, I can get past him. What? Peach, would you come up? Why, not, why aren't I not going back in? Yeah, first. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's a 36 minutes. Oh, my God. Wow. 161 points. Wow. Wow, just wow. DS Peach Gardens. Oh, I just realized it's in the final cup now, isn't it? I forgot. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot what the last race I did was, Phil. I remember I, there's another video on our channel called the Epic Fail Race that includes four people, none of them are me, by the way, playing this race with some Tokyo Mimi music in the background, like that that song that goes da 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 Da, da, da. So yeah, that song. Which is sung by Ichigo's voice actress. So yeah. Then I put some Kirby music at the end because it wasn't quite the other music wasn't quite long enough, so yeah. Yeah, Peach Gardens, I don't it's not too hard for, for, for me from what I can remember. If you know your way around the mazes, which I do, so yeah. I mean, it's not really a maze, it's just like oh I guess it is. But it's like there's more than one way out. With a maze, there's usually only one way out. Or to the end or whatever. Except in Pac-Man where there's no way out. And you, and you just have to eat the dots. But yeah. No! Okay, good. No aborted. I aborted the no. Okay, I'll go. Da -ba -ba. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. My character Dawn do that. She has a little, a younger brother who's eight, and his name is Dawn, but it, but D O N, like the male name, and his last name, his fake name is also do that. But that's actually his nickname as well. I I don't know what his real name is. Whoa, okay then. I thought it went in front of me, I don't know. That was confusing, because there's no one in front of there was no one in front of me, so I don't know why it would be going that way, but whatever. You can go your own way, go your own way. You can call it another lonely day. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Look. Say, so, uh, um, basically, they really need to make a race where you race in Peach's Castle. I don't know if that's in the older, if any of the, in any of the older ones or not, but. Come on, blow them up, blow them up, blow them, oh, what? Peach might win in her own garden. What? I was hoping I'd get a, a cool boost, burst of speed and get past, but no. This video might be shorter than the other one. Oh, Bowser's Castle is pretty long. I think there's two races left, isn't there? Forget what this one is. Oh yeah, GCND came out. Yep, 15 of 16. So the last one, the last one is N64 Bowser's Castle. There's three Bowser's Castles in this game. There's also three Mario Circuits and a Mario Raceway in this game. Like, wow. Just wow. Oh, I thought I hit that for a second there. Seizure time! Okay, no. 
That's actually hurting my eyes. So. Whenever I'm watching like an anime or something, and there's like a, 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 a flashing light or just anything that, that flashes too fast, I always shout out seizure, even though it doesn't, even if it doesn't actually give me a seizure. I don't think it's actually a seizure. It's just my my eyes hurt, but, but I just like to say seizure, seizure. But yeah, like this 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 old animation I made called Fun Pack Z, which has my Fun Pack friends characters in it, but in a different version of them. Um, there's a bit where the alarm goes off in the store. And and the and it's just a red screen, then a blue screen, then a red screen, then a blue screen, just flashing between the two really quickly. It always hurts my eyes. Like, oh my god, wow, just wow. <laughs> By the way, just for those people who don't know how what, how I'm doing the front view thing, I just press A. So yeah, press A to not die. Okay, no. Wow. But over the ramp. What? Just suddenly hit me really fast. Whoa! Okay, that was a weird What? That was a weird angle, but whatever. Oh watch the item reappeared like a second after I a split second after I was already past it. Wow. Wah, 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 wah. Oh yeah, somebody made this funny fandom of Tokyo Mimu called to my voice is cracked, oh my god. <laughs> called Tokyo Mimu in a nutshell. And it's it's not the Ogushi 5 by the way, it's someone else. Um because I mentioned them in the other one. Uh basically it, they did it in the episode where Mary Mary Maguire was speaking English, they made her speak like this. Wah 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 which is from Charlie Brown, so yeah. Sometimes I like to talk like that at school or just uh, anywhere to be random. I'm gonna try and get up to 200. Actually, no, it's impossible. Wait, is it impossible to get up to 200 points? Yeah, only if I had 170 and I only had like 161. And that's only if I come first in both these races. What? Who did that? Who did that? Why'd you do that? Again, no. Okay, I'm gonna go back last now because I'm in the last place. Yeah, the thing is when you have when you're shrunk by lightning, it the people grow back in order in reverse order, so of how they're placed in the race. So the person in last place goes back first, or, or uh, usually it's the person in last place who uses lightning, but like the ones falling behind grow back first and the person in first goes back last. So yeah. What if somebody got lightning in first place? That would just be really weird. You are really weird, but um, but um, you are really weird and you make no sense. But um, but um, but um, but um, you are really weird, but um, but um, you are really weird and no offense. But um, but um, but um, but um, but you are kind of crazy and dense, but you make no sense. To uh, so yeah, but um, da dun, da dun, da dun. Don't know why I always try to go between the two thwacks. By the way, that was a version. That was a version that I made up, sung by my two fun pack characters, Lolly and Mac, that I made up. Who are the cousins of a character my, I made up named Pencil, who is not me, by the way. She's someone that I, that I made up, who's a bit based on me, but she's not exactly the same because she's an optimist and she's younger than me and she's a dinosaur. So. Uh, and basically the thing is, they sung it to Pen their cousin Pencil, because Pencil is weird like me, so yeah. <laughs> what?! Oh my god, did that seriously just happen? Oh, this is the first lap, not the last lap. I wonder what the original Nintendo 64 version of this course is like. Sometimes I wish I had Mario Kart Double Dash. I had a dream while I was playing like a mix between 64 and Double Dash. Like, like I was playing, I was playing Mario Raceway from Nintendo 64, but I was playing, I was playing like as Toadette or someone who's only started appearing in Double Dash. So yeah. Uh -huh. 
power block is really annoying in Smash Brothers. Like if you can't jump out of the off the ground in time when someone throws it, you like take damage and get blown up. It's also hard to move when it happens there. Yoshi, well, it said I was in fourth, then Yoshi got past me and I was still in fourth. Unless he was past me, but I just couldn't see him on a different angle, I don't know. Who's in front of me? Is it Peach again? Yep, I knew it. This video might not go for 50 minutes. Oh, what? I couldn't turn a corner and avoid that at the same time. Didn't this happen to me last time? It might be the same course, I don't know. Not last time, like a different time. Last time I played this course, so. I'll go back before her, haha. Oh, there she is. She'll just go back. It should be like however many meters or whatever away times the, the same, and, and that's how many seconds it should be before the next person goes back. I'm not. Please don't fall! The same way I did in lap one. Whoa, that was close. Okay, oh yeah, it was here that I fell, not the other ramp. Yeah! Yes, I got 201 points! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, Mario time! Oh yeah, Mario time! It's weird, because I actually used to talk in a chipmunk voice for Mini Mario's voice when I had played the DS version, and that was before I even played the Wii version even came out, or before I played the Wii version, so yeah. So yeah, that was the second Mario Kart Wii Power Hour, which is even less than an hour than the last one, it was in less than an hour too. Mario's in first, Wario's in last. So yeah, thank you for watching, this has been Pencil Domino Jr. of Infinity Ten Epic Fails, and goodbye. Goodbye, woo!